Well, today I want to talk about cults, or at least biased definitions of cults. You know, focusing on one section. First of all, I want to do a quick shout out to the Atheist Hub. It's a new channel, at least I assume it's new, that does video shout outs. You send a link of a video of yours or someone else's that you think is undersubscribed, you should get more subscribers. And if the review process feels that it's well enough, they'll post a, um, they'll do a video and help get smaller YouTubers going. And this is something I've been thinking of for a while. There needs to be a little bit more interactivity. You know, I don't mind being 350. Maybe I'm having 350 because my videos suck. But it's also really hard. Nowadays, of how bad YouTube is, you know, we got like 50,000 atheist channels. You've got so many. You know, YouTube makes it so hard to find channels because the search is so completely useless. You know, so these kind of things are a great way to help smaller channels get more views. You know, and as I've said before, if I get 250 because my videos start getting fine, I accept that. And I realize that. But if it's because not enough people get to see my videos because of the way YouTube is, then that's kind of a frustrating thing. But now I'm more on the subject, which is cults. And the example that the soil brings up is that um, oh yeah, it's a morality of sex. You know, that's the, t the definition. One of the definitions of a cult is that they use sex to create, you know, to get members. And I have to, and now this is a definition of cult because they use sex positively. But what about negatively? You know, Christianity, Catholics, and other religions use our urges against us. They use sex just the same way. But they use it as a negative thing to force people into churches, into religion. Now, isn't that technically you know, you're forcing people or trying to trick people one way or the other. Of course, most Christians wouldn't see that as that. But there's, you know, a small distinction. You know, another one, which is mainly what I want to focus on, but I've always found funny growing up, was this thing that, you know, one of the best signs how you can tell a religion is false, or if it's a cult, is because it only claim because it claims to be the only religion, the only way to God. No. If any religion claims to be the only way to God, it's false. It's also a cult. Except that's what Christianity does. And the only reason you know, that other religions are seen as false is because Christianity is supposed to be the only true way to God. And so any other religion that claims this is obviously wrong. You know, it's sort of that, you know, circular logic. My religion says I'm the only way to God, so if everybody else says they're the only way to God, well, obviously I'm correct, so they have to be wrong. And it creates this sort of, this circular logic again, like I said. The same thing with the immorality. You know, it's considered immoral to Christians because that is what their doctrine says. You know, but it doesn't mean that they're correct on that. And I see this a lot of times with a lot of definitions of a false religion, you know, the criteria for why religion is false within Christianity tends to be because it goes against certain doctrinal beliefs. Not anything, you know, concrete, nothing that, you know, because of that religion is going to say the same thing about Christianity, so it doesn't really work. So, I don't know, comment below. Have you ever heard this argument before, particularly the, you know, Islam is wrong because it claims to be the only way to God, you know. Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult and wrong because they claim that they have the only way to God. And stuff like that. Let me know your thoughts. And check out the Atheist Hub too, please.